guys, welcome back to my reaction channel today. We're going to react to Bleach Greatness episode 278. Now, guys, in the last episode looks like Baragon's dead, Holly Bill as well, out of commission, and now we're focusing on Stark and Ukitaki and Shunsui are tag teaming the shins out of him, right? My man already in his release date with two cowboy guns, bro, just spamming Sano left and right, and uh, I don't know, I don't know what to think. Uh, and if this continues like this, I don't think uh, the Espada are gonna win. I think uh, we are gonna win rather easily, and then we have Tosengin, Ichimaru, and Aizen to deal with, and Old Man Yama is still fresh, he's just keeping an eye on them, so we are uh, in an advantage right now. But hey, listen, they might surprise me, so I ain't gonna pull on this that much. If you enjoy my reactions, feel free to share, subscribe, like, leave a comment, ring the bell for notifications, guys, follow me on Instagram, join my Discord server, and my Patreon page, well, further ado, man, let's jump right into this reaction. Let's go. Bleach 278. Okay, is Holly Bell gonna get out of there? Come on, girl, you didn't put much of a fight! Damn it. I must have taken too much damage. <laughs> Are you alright, Captain? No. I'm fine. She doesn't have an arm. Huh? Uh, that wasn't me. Bruh, don't mess with her. She's a feminist. <laughs> Listen, guys. Uh, I just realized that her losing an arm isn't such a big deal because Orohime can literally bring it back. She did it, like, with the Grim Jaw. So, okay, okay, she's gonna be fine. Ma'am, must have been the wind. But that guy was scary, wasn't he, Captain? Yeah, he's not done, bro. There's no way. Gonokotowari. Okay. We gotta, we gotta remind ourselves that Shunsu and Ukitake were the ones that went after Old Man Yama in the Soul Society arc, so these guys are all B.O.P. and them teaming up together against Stark. Stark is definitely in trouble. This is no joke. Look at Shunsu. <laughs> A setup. Yup. You thought you were the only one. What gives? There's no use arguing. <sighs> we're basically up against two of them. There's nothing cowardly in accepting my help. It's too risky. Your bankai shouldn't be used where it could be seen. What? Mistranslation. In Japanese, he said that his bankai shouldn't be used because there are too many people around. In other words, it's too dangerous to use with all these people here. Yeah, when he started the sentence, I thought about this, right? Like, oh, it's gonna be too dangerous. But then he said, should be seen. And I uh, immediately thought that he's like, uh, right, uh, Ikaku and the others, like he doesn't want anybody to see their bankai. But no, actually, it's this. Thanks for, for pointing this out. Not to so mention he has a against an enemy like this. My attacks will be more effective. How did you manage to fire that Seto just now? If you shoot at us again, there's a good chance you'll find out. <laughs> that sounds fair. Yeah. Hey, come on! Are you listening to me? Just shut up. He doesn't care. He doesn't care! No, 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 I think, I think Stark is actually analyzing Ukitake, bruh. My man not firing for no reason. He's like analytical with it, right? I think Ukitake might have the ability to mirror your attacks, especially if they're spiritual in a sense. That's why he said to Shunsui, my way of fighting is better for this sort of opponent, right? He's able to fire Saddle back. So I think he's mirroring his attacks and Stark is catching on. Ooh. Now I get it. Those five talismans hanging from that cord adjust the speed and pressure of the technique when it returns, which throws off your opponent. But you've got some pretty nasty skills, don't you? Amazing! I never thought you'd figure out that much from just three attacks. I mean, I figured it out. It's not that hard. But like, w w what you're conjuring up a saddle out of your ass. Of course, there's gonna be something to it. Thanks for the compliment. I'm pleased to know that your ability isn't some mindless trick that only reflects your enemy's attacks back at them. Okay. My man just insulted me. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's literally what I thought. My man really insulted me, Loki. But since you absorb the attacks before sending them back, there has to be a limit as to how much you can take in. I think he could. Oh. And all this time, I thought you and I were alike. I mean, you are similar. Yo.
Oh, okay. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Now you can't get to me from this side. <laughs> oh, they're a good duo. They're a good duo. You guys are actually trying to hustle me, aren't you? <laughs> Was that your plan? Huh? What? Okay, the garganta is opening. Yo, that's a big garganta. Bro, there's no way. Like, no, no matter who comes, right? These are the toppest spot, but there's nobody stronger. Listen, this might be Kuratsuchi, Kenpachi, and the rest. If they return, these spots are done, but they're struggling as it is with, with the ones, the Soul Reapers we have now. Imagine if Unohana's here to heal everybody, and Kenpachi's here, and, and Kuratsuchi, and Byakuya, uh, but Aizen would be done. Who's coming, though? Good or evil? Who is that? Oh, the small little kid! He's one creepy looking fella, that's for sure. The lunatic, right? The, the, yeah, this guy, I forgot about him. Oh, there's more? <laughs> okay, that's a hollow. What? Uh, you're kidding me. What is that? For a second there, that looked like that cleaner thing that uh, goes after you when you're between, in between, uh, right, uh, Waco Mundo and the Soul Society. Do you remember the cleaner that always chased them? But I think somebody destroyed it, right? So, is that, the, did they take the cleaner and turn it into a hollow? But what, what is what is happening? Or is that just a regular amped up hollow? I don't know, but they seem to be recognizing it, so. But yeah, I wonder why I completely forgot about that kid. But that kid was just low IQ, right? But powerful. And uh, it had a bond with, with, with uh, Ginichimaru, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. There were a few scenes where they, they talked to one another, so this is gonna be interesting. I thought it was Kimpachi and the others. Oh, okay, so it's not the cleaner, it's something else. Oh. <laughs> what? <sighs> no way. Classic censorship in the manga, his hand is dripped in blood, not scratches. How the hell do you get scratches from stabbing someone like his brother? Okay, so... Ukitaki was just literally stabbed. Like, stabbed, stabbed. <laughs> Damn! Shunzo is pissed! Oh... Oh? Bro. Both of them! One shot it! What the hell is happening? Oh, he's gonna free her! And Baraka's probably not done either. Yeah, this is not good. He's not done either. He's back. Impossible. Captain. Bro, so what? He was just chilling in the smoke. He doesn't seem hurt or anything. My man just screamed at him, and it's not like he was frozen like Holly Bell, and he needed that scream. What? He was, he fell asleep. They were so boring. My man fell asleep, and this kid needed to scream at him as an alarm clock to wake him up. He didn't go anywhere. He was just in a smoke. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at him. Like he's not even scratched. Please, sir, go. Are you sure? You must go. <laughs> Your banka is made for this thing! What is that? The stench of death is quite fitting here. It's a perfect description. My man looked straight at Kira! And Tosin didn't look anywhere. My man blind as hell. <laughs> Let's go! That Wonderwise kid really turned the tables! The hell is that kid? Not so fast. <laughs> what? Oh, the previous captains. Okay, okay, okay. Well, freaking done. I forgot about the wizards. 
They're all previous captain level, and now since they're all wizards, they're even above that level. And they're all here, and they all have a vendetta against Aizen, but they have some things to settle with him! Oh, this is gonna be amazing! Okay, okay, this was well done. I, I, for a second there, I was hella disappointed about the uh, Holly Bell and Badaga being done dirty like that, right? Easily. But now, they're back, and we have significant reinforcements on Aizen's part. That gigantic, whatever that monster is, that freed Aizen, Tosen, and Ginichimaru, right, from that fiery pit. I'm assuming Yama can also create that fiery pit again, but the monster's just gonna do it again, so moot point at this point. So th this is gonna be insane. This is gonna be insane. But now that the visors are here, okay, we now have some reinforcements as well. But I'm really surprised that Shunsu and Ukitake went down like one shot and brought They're the strongest soul reapers we have! Damn it! Oh wait, I have a note. Just letting you know that the rest of this episode is just flashbacks to the scenes we already saw. You can skip ahead if you want. If your reaction is short, it also helps with copyright, true. But if you want to see it, go ahead. We're gonna see it. It doesn't matter. I don't think it's like five minutes left. Let's go. Oh uh, yeah, they're gonna I'm on it. remind us. They're gonna remind us why the Bison's hate Eisen. But they're all OP. They're all OP and they're here now on our side. Osuke Aizen, bro, this is gonna be insane. This is gonna be insane, cause they have... What's happening to me? Real hatred towards Aizen. Sosuke, what's going on? And besides, like, we know that this captain, he used to be Aizen's captain. He was a strong as hell, right? But he just happened to let his guard down because he thought Aizen was no threat, which he probably wasn't back then, right? But now, Aizen is significantly stronger, right? But still, like, this captain ain't no joke. Eh, the visors ain't no joke! I suppose, when it comes right down to it, that you owe your friends here an apology. Because you were chosen by me, they ended up on the ground as casualties, through no fault of their own. What have you done to us? I see Nothing no good. to explain, Captain. I believe it's time to finish you off, dear Captain Hidako. Aizen might be one of the first uh, anime villains that actually didn't want to explain his point of view. He was like, I don't feel the need to explain, Captain. Die. <laughs> Damn. He's legendary for that. In the end, I hope you'll remember one thing. What is truly frightening and much more lethal is the betrayal you cannot see. He didn't see it coming. And now they're all back. Stronger than ever with a vendetta against this man. So scary. Mm -hmm. To be continued. I love him way more with, with longer hair, but he looks cool as hell with longer hair. Now he looks goofy as hell. <laughs> But yeah, they're gonna, this is gonna be insane. The next episode is gonna be insane, bro. The Visors against the Espada and Aizen and Oh, this is gonna be all out war, bro. This is gonna be all out war, and I'm here for it. Let me just watch this end credit scene, and then we're gonna finish it up. The Illustrated Guide to Soul Reapers! Huh. This is supposed to be the place. But there's no one here. Hmm. I was just trying to help out! Oh no. Our plane's already taken off. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Uh, my uh, editor is right, I did not understand a single thing in this, in this end credit scene. Uh, watch the credits if you want, perhaps off screen due to copyright. I'll watch it off screen, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just an end credit scene. Uh, so guys, that being said, this episode was hella hype in the end, bro. I thought we were gone. I thought we were gone, gone. I thought we were gone, 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 right? Okay, they destroyed Shunsu and Ukitake with one fell swoop. I was like... God damn, bro. We, 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 we stand no chance. Old man Yama's gonna have to face all of them on his own. And then the Visors came in, bro. They reminded me of Goku showing up at the last second, bro. Oh, this is gonna be insane the next episode. But that being said, I ain't up a lot. Is that much? I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Love you. Enjoy. And bye.